Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Rose Tarot, it's your girl Rose, and I'm here to do another energy reading for you guys. Shout out to all the subscribers, I truly, truly love and appreciate all you guys. If this is your first time to the channel, come on in. I hope everybody's having a great week. We just going to get started. Check their intentions is here, other motives. So there's somebody here that has a motive of some sort. Let's see what is going on. Your energy is seductive at this time. Um, really because you're working on yourself. You're waiting for your ships to come in. Um, oh, sex spells and dark magic at play. And this person dreams about you. This is a narcissist. And karma is at play. This feels like a situation that... Spirit is saying hold out for real love. I don't know if this is for somebody that maybe reconciled with somebody recently from their past. Um... But this is a situation where it's looking like either you need to allow karma to play out or if you need to get out of this situation, you should. There's no reason to hold on to whatever this is. Check their motives is here. Check their intentions. Um, your energy is always seductive. So yeah, they're going to always want to be with you. But that it seems like that's neither here nor there. Whatever this is, whatever you're working on or trying to build with someone may not be working out. Um, I don't know why sex spells and dark magic at play is here, but it has something to do about with this person dreaming about you. Um, what makes you happy is really the question that's coming up. What are you working on that's making you happy? Because you're always desirable. Um, there's also, actually, and there's someone else here too, that doesn't seem as messy as two people. There's someone from the past that's bringing up all of this hard ass energy here. It's almost like too many games are being played with whoever this narcissist is. Um, and they want to keep you bonded to them through sex. If you keep going back, that's how you're bonded with this person. And then there's someone else here that's willing to give you even give and take. Um, Right now, you may feel like love is a burden. Um, Page of Cups being here with the Three of Wands, you're still looking for your ships to come in. But with this Page of Cups being here, whoever this is, this could be an acquaintance of yours. This could, it's very minimal, um, but it's at a time where you have a lot of burdens in your life. It's at a time where you're healing. Um, this person wants to communicate with you. You just may not be ready. I feel like you may be getting out of something that was really hard to get out of and so someone else coming along right now just might not be the right time um let me get more on this situation yeah this is after moving on from this narcissist you may feel like it's just not the right time right person wrong time page of wands being here with death um you had to move on from something that you no longer were desiring this is changing the way that you think about someone, the way you look at someone, it made you have to leave. It made you have to move away from them. Um, when you're dealing with, this person feels like they're very sexual, whoever this is, like they may have cheated on you and said it was only sex. They're very sexual with you. That's how, that's their magic. That's the play. That's, that's, you know, that's their playbook, if that makes any sense. Um, but it seems like you either just got out of this situation or you're moving away from this situation. And regardless of someone else wanting you, it's almost like your mindset is still like trying to get over this situation, understand why you were in it and, and understand what happened during that situation. So you may not be ready to go towards someone new. They, they do desire you though. Whoever this is, um, it's coming up like they would give you the world but you have to give them a chance you just I, it just feels like you may not be ready though um and i don't feel like this person is this new because this is someone else this may be somebody you don't even look at in that way they look at you that way though but they're not this person is not here to pressure you to be with them anyway um this may be someone that you confided in about your relationship with this person because this feels like an ex but this feels like it's new this feel like you just detached from whoever this was like and you're just not ready 
I mean, like, really, you were fighting to get out of a situation. You were fighting to get out of a situation. Um, you may have felt like things were going on behind the scenes. Things were going on behind your back. You had to constantly watch your back, constantly make sure that you were okay, constantly make sure that you were fighting your way out of something. Um, but you did. With this uh, Eight of Cups being here, you just left everything behind. I don't know if maybe you lived with this person too, but you left everything behind. Or you will be. If you're still in it, you will be leaving. This is a situation where you don't want to... You can't drive yourself crazy thinking, well, maybe they'll change. Maybe this will be diff different this time. You know, maybe they really did learn the lesson. It's not about them. It's about you. Okay? It's about the level of respect that you're required or that you're requiring in a relationship. It's about how you show up in a relationship. If you show up and you can be faithful, then the person you're with can be faithful too. If they can't be, then you have to leave. Um, this person, this narcissist from your past needs help. Um, they really do. They need professional help to stop doing this. So this is not your assignment. You can't fix this person. The only person you can fix is your damn self. The person is, this is a very arrogant, want what they want when they want it kind of person, go after what they need and you know what I mean? And you actually were something that they needed. You're coming up as the queen of pentacles here. You have a foundation yourself. You, you're pretty stable yourself. So if this person needed something from you, you were like, put it this way, you were the, the most stable choice. You were the one that they could rely on, the one that they could depend on. So they were always going to come back. Please understand your role and how much power you have. This person tends to make you feel powerless when you are powerful. You have more, more power than this person did. Okay. Um, Spirit is asking now, what do you want to build upon? What are you going to start? Where are you planting seeds? Where are you planting seeds? Because if you're planting seeds with someone that's deceitful, someone that plays these mind games with you, you're deceiving yourself. You're lying to yourself if you think this is going to stop. It's not going to stop. This feels like somebody that's kind of in and out, one foot out the door. You know what I mean? Um, if this doesn't resonate with you because you're already gone, it's okay. You know, but it's other people that are still in these situations and they have to, they, they need that time as well. You know, so if you're still in a situation, know that you're strong enough to walk away from the situation. Know that it, this is what the situation calls for. It calls for you to walk away. Um, you are more than equipped to be okay on your own. You're okay. A rebirth is, is, is at play. Um, it's almost like y'all are fighting each other. Um, even the way your cards come up, it's like you're having a conversation. Like it's, it's a conversation needs to be had here. But judgment right behind it. That makes me think of accountability. Well, this person, if you're waiting to have a conversation with them to explain what they did, to explain why they broke trust with you, to explain why they betrayed you, it's just not... <laughs> You're holding on to something that is going to disappoint you. You're not going to get the answers you need. You're not going to get the closure you want. It's not going to be a situation where it's going to make sense. It's not going to, it's not going to do what you think. It's just going to remind you that you should be going, that you should be leaving. Um, and honestly, that may be what you need. It may, be, it may call for you to have that situation and, and have that conversation so you can confirm that it's time to go. You have so many choices. You have a lot of choices in love. You have love coming towards you. You are lovable. You know, especially with the Ace of Cups being here, there's an opportunity in love and you have choices. Um, it goes kind of back to whoever this is down here. There's somebody else that wants a relationship with you. However, this person is not pressing you anyway. So you can take time for yourself. Like you don't have to figure any of this shit out today. Like you don't have to figure this out today. All right. Um, but it is coming up like a friend. It's coming up like somebody that maybe you grew up around. Um, somebody that is maybe a family friend. I don't know who this is, but they care about you a lot. 
Like they're here on your table. Like they're telling you, it's almost like they're telling you, do you not see who you are? Do you not see how special you are? Do you not see how lovable you are? I would never treat you that way. You know, um, I feel like this is someone, I'm talking to someone that really in the present moment is trying to find strength within themselves, trying to learn how to love again, trying to learn how to love themselves again, trying to bring their confidence up again, just trying to bring up their strength. And you have to, you're doing the right thing. Okay. Cause this, this narcissist, whoever this was in your past, or that could still be in your present, this person is bringing you so much depression and bringing you so much regret. Um, they're bringing such a darkness around you that you have no choice but to detach from this. You have to stand in your power and be stronger than this. You have to walk away. That's when the victory comes in. When you have a certain mindset, when you walk away, your mindset automatically changes. Your perception of love changes. Your perception about yourself is going to change. You're going to realize just how strong you fucking are. You're going to realize that you were stronger in the situation. You're going to start to unveil truths about yourself. You're going to start learning things. You may go back to school. You may um, take on another job. It's something about learning something. It's either a truth about yourself or you're just going to learn another skill. But you're going to do something to make sure that you're okay. You're going to be okay. All right? This reading became really, for me, it's, it's feeling like I'm, I'm pulling for someone that's in, may feel trapped in a situation that you're not. It is, it's almost, it's like spirit is saying, it's time to be alone. It's time to take some time for yourself. It's time to do self-love. It's time for self-love. You are coming up as the empress with the hierophant. You know how to take care of yourself. You know how to give yourself good advice. Talk to yourself as if your friend came to you and told you everything that you were dealing with. What would you tell your friend? You would tell your friend, you don't, you don't deserve that. You don't deserve to be in a situation. You can get out of this. This is what you need to be for you. It's time to go. Six of Swords being here. You have to create a strategy for yourself so that you can walk away. Okay, whoever this is, you got to create a strategy for yourself so you can't walk away. You don't need anyone. And I'm going to say it like that. And you can come for me in the comments all you like. You need God and your family. You don't need this relationship. Okay? You want this relationship. You don't need this relationship. This relationship will not make or break your life. That is not the situation. You can create whatever you want. You're the queen of wands here. You can create any situation that you feel as though is good for you, that you feel as though you can thrive in. You can't create in a situation that's tearing you down. You can't create in a situation that doesn't allow you to feel respected, doesn't allow you to feel loved, doesn't allow you to even have trust. How can you build in that? The tower has to fall. The tower has to fall here. Um, you have an opportunity to do something with your life when you walk away from this because you're coming up as the star. As soon as you walk away, all of these doors open for you. These doors that were closed, all of these doors just open up for you when you walk away from this. There are certain, you know, a person can abuse you in a lot of ways, emotionally, physically, sexually. A person can abuse you in a lot of ways. And you can get used to it. You can, you be surprised the shit you'll get used to. And it's not till you take time and, and be alone, take time and figure out just who the hell you are, that you realize what you were dealing with, that you realize what you were getting used to, that you realize the routine you were in. You know what I mean? You have to respect yourself more. There's a, a, a certain level of, you have to hold yourself in a higher regard. You have to. You're not trapped. There is no trap here. If you take this blindfold off, you realize you could walk around these eight swords. They're not trapping you. You're keeping yourself in a mental trap that's not necessary. If it's monetary, you can make your own money, move on. If you live with this person, reach out to family and friends or set up your strategy so that you can leave. But you have choices. You're never trapped. You're never trapped. All right?
um, I'm going to pull an affirmation and I'm going to get out of this energy because this energy was pretty heavy for me. Um, but this is for someone that literally is still in a situation or that's just now leaving a situation and maybe you need a confirmation. It was time to go. There was no reason to stay here. The more you stayed, the more you lost yourself. Okay, so it's time to find yourself again. It's time to find yourself again. Change is here. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. It's time to move around. It's time to move away from this situation. It's time to move the hell on from this situation, okay? Forgiveness is here. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. No one is telling you to resent this person. No one is telling you to hate this person. You just have to love yourself more than you love this person. It's time for you to love yourself, okay? And acceptance. I'm learning to accept that things, the things that I cannot change. I can't change this person. I can't make them love me the way that I deserve to be loved. I can't make them not step out. I can't make them not do, you can't make anybody do shit. Everybody has free will. So do you remember? So do you. So just like this person has free will to do whatever the hell they were doing, you have free will to walk away and not take their shit anymore. Okay. Guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist my soul's growth. Let this shit go. Be honest with yourself. Honesty at the bottom of the deck. What you don't see coming is an honest conversation you're about to have with yourself. You're about to ask yourself, what's keeping me here? What purpose is this person serving in my life that I'm willing to stay and be treated this way? Okay? You have to ask yourself that question. You have to have that hard conversation. You got to move on. It is what it is. I'm going to pull one more and then I'm going to leave. Okay? This kind of got a little heavy. This got real heavy. Um, but, wow. It's just, it is what it is and it was necessary. Build on solid ground. Build on solid ground. This is not a firm foundation that you need to stay at. This is not a firm foundation where you could plant seeds. You need to build on solid ground. Reflect on your truth at the bottom of the deck. Okay? All right, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.